Looking for the skills and training you need to get a new career? Call CTC, the Center for Training and Careers, and start working towards that new career today. Call CTC in San Jose. Good evening. I'm Siwapili Rose Amador. And I'm Mike Newmoon. And together we are Native Voice TV. Welcome to the show. I want to remind you we're on Saturdays at 4 o'clock now, and you can also catch us on Mondays at 8 o'clock on the Rasa Roundtable Show. Well, today we have with us a very special guest. His name is Aaron Shermack. Did I say that correctly? Yes, you did. Great. Aaron, give us your background, your tribal affiliation. <clears throat> I'm a Seneca, it's an Iroquois nation. So uh, I was born in Los Angeles and then grew up out here. And most of my family is down in LA and back east. And have you been involved with the with the, your, your nation? Uh, mostly out here, just connection with the, the native community, with the sweat lodge. So it's mostly been here with a lot of mixed culture. Yeah, so, that's yeah. my brother, he helps me out. You know, he's there at the Nippy, pulling them stones, man. I want to thank you for that. You're welcome. It's pretty thank hot you. down there. <laughs> yeah. Right. So you kn you've known him for some time now. I, I did. I, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't want to say a year, but it's been. It's been a while. Yeah, it's yeah. been quite a while. It's been a long year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how long exactly I've been sweating, but um, yeah, I know I met Aaron, and he's a good guy, and he's been telling he been telling me about some things that you've been doing, so. What's up? What's going on, buddy? Well, presently I've been doing a lot of graphics and uh, a lot of street bikes and cars, low riders, and do a lot of murals. Lot so of you're you an artist? I'm an artist. So you do paintings or what? I do, uh, originally, right out of high school, I got into computer graphics. So I started doing a lot of billboards, large scale mm -hmm. signs, and bus wraps. Hey, oh, really? Yeah. Hey, when you say billboards, you mean you're the guy that tags up those billboards? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> well, he does in a that, big way. <laughs> that, was, that was in high school. Yeah. Yeah. Don't incriminate oh, yourself. Oh, well, we yeah. want our picture up on that billboard. Yeah. <laughs> so you can put us up there. So you do that on uh, the computer? You yeah, design the, computer. the bus pictures and stuff? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. So what yeah. have you designed that we wouldn't recognize? Uh, Versace, Pepsi. So. Really? Yeah. Wow, how exciting. So yeah, it was real fun. Got involved in a startup company. Watched it grow. Is it here locally in, in San Jose? Uh, Super Graphics. They actually got bought out by the competitor, so they took what they needed. And it's called the Super Graphics? Super Graphics. Super Graphics. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty exciting. Yeah. Huh. So I kind of got tired of that, commuting and sitting in traffic every day, so I went and started my own business. And what is that? It's a graphic design and uh, custom graphics on street bikes and cars. And so now I'm starting to take Now, it. street bikes <coughs> and cars, what do you mean? Do you do graphics on the cars? Yeah. Yeah. So I use vinyl and uh, automotive paint. So custom paints, flakes. And so candies. like a lot of the, the uh, low riders or, yeah. and then they have these pictures on them. That's what you're talking about? Yeah. Those, those kind of yeah. graphics? Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so oh. I've been doing that for a while and now I'm kind of transitioning out to that and get into the fashion. So I'll do something more. And what are you talking as far as fashion? Fashion from uh, urban wear to uh, dress clothing to professional wear to sports gear, all types. You're going to design the clothes or mm -hmm. design the clothes? Yeah. Have you ever done that before? Um, I did the graphic tees for a while. Uh huh. Yeah. But I've always been into fashion since I was young, so huh. now that I have the opportunity to go for it, I'm going to take advantage and get into it. So, um, are you going to start a store or what? what, what no, what, actually, what are you I'm gonna envisioning here? Online and oh. then. Uh, sell it to vendors, so uh -huh. sell it to stores. Oh, I see. Yeah. So just put products on consignment, let them sell it, instead of having the whole store front. And have no, men's clothes, women's, or what? Everything, yeah. Well, Even tell kids. us kind of like what you have in mind. Um, from high-end fashion to work gear, just all modern styles and with a native influence. So some you'll have like, uh, you know, the straight up graphics and the images and message you want to get across and then you'll have the higher end fashion where the graphics might be in a corner or somewhere where it's less noticeable and they'll still have professional thing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. And also working on uh, like designs for scrubs for hospital wear so they can have a little insignia or some kind of pattern that reminds them of their culture and wow. gives people a good message. Because there's a really a lot of good artists out there that haven't got their chance to get things out, especially in the Native community. 
it's such yeah, a, like a detailed son. art form. <laughs> that's wow. extremely that's extremely important. You know these native companies, native businesses, yeah. native m businessmen and women um, representing themselves, their people, their tribe, and the nations in general. You know? yeah. So I applaud you for that, man. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, I feel it's important, you know, to help set a good example for the next generation and people that may have wanted to do something and really haven't had the chance, just give them a little motivation and you can do it no matter what's going on or what you've been through. There's so when are you planning on doing this? Um, it's already in process right now. Right now in the R&D stage, we're checking the market and seeing what's out there. She can get it on QVC or HSN. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, really. Yeah. Because there's, it's very limited as what you can find with native design on it. I mean, other than t-shirts and hats, that's about it. Once yeah. in a while you can find the, um, the sweatpants or something or the, you know, a jacket, but rarely. Yeah, rarely. You know, but I've noticed on like on QVC and HSN, my favorite shows, yeah. um, that <laughs> <laughs> they do, they'll have uh, um, Navajos on there with their jewelry, the yeah. silver jewelry and it's limited, but they do bring on, you know, different things, and it seems like that would be ideal. Yeah. So we'll promote you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm always shopping on there anyhow, so. But no, really, I'm, it's, it's really hard to find those types oh, of yeah. clothes, so yeah. you better hurry up. <laughs> yeah, before someone else jumps in on it, yeah. Absolutely, because we do need that. Yeah, yeah. and with the, with the vendors that they have now, the business they have now that develop and design those type of shirts, there's going to be some competition now. Oh, yeah, And with definitely. competition, hopefully, maybe prices go lower. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where I like to keep it, you know, in good quality clothes and, the, and a good uh, perspective on their culture, you know. So it's like there's a lot of styles out there that either they're projecting something political or something real sensitive to the culture. I want to introduce something that gives them more inspiration to their spirituality rather than a lot of the hard things that happened in the past that kind of gives you that message well, well you know that's a cool shirt but inside you might feel like oh wow it still hurts you know I want mm -hmm. something more modern where people can feel themselves and be comfortable with themselves and also something people can wear to work because yeah. you can't always wear t-shirts to work no or a ribbon shirt <laughs> yeah that's my thing too it's like we, all we really have is ribbon and we have a whole fashion world that you know is out there Right. It's really nice clothing. Other than, I mean, you know, we can wear the jewelry, but that's about it, right? Yeah. Now, so it'd be cool. And I want to be able to integrate it all together so uh -huh. it's just nice and clean. And, and, and the present. internet's way to go because everyone, I mean, it, it's, it's so yeah. much easier to shop on the internet. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And okay. Plus, with the internet, it's like it's bringing things from the past and present all together. You now people can dress like the 80s, the 60s. You see all these styles from the 50s, they're all kind of merging together. Kind now, of do you have a website now that uh, you're developing, or what's? Um, actually, that's being in production right now. So. So we're going to have something we can kind of give out to our audience later on, and so they'll know. Yeah, where there's to go. definitely contact information. So if any artists want to get together and network, and I don't want to send my son to you. Yeah. <laughs> He's very definitely. good. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, there's always limited places for people with those types of talents to yeah. go. Yeah. And where I work is uh, in an art district too, and. There's no, uh, any native influence there. It's all these different kind of mixed medias and people are doing these different styles and creating things, but it's not too much direction or culture or any kind of influence from the art. It's just mm -hmm. like art, you know? So I'm trying to come with something to message and oh, good. keep good people one. motivated. Wish you a lot of luck. Thank and you. There's an evolution occurring within, uh, within the people then. Yeah. That's a good thing. Definitely. It's oh, changing. So you sing as well? Yeah, so sweat log songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, good. So yeah. you do drum or? Yeah, I have a drum I built with the, one of my brothers. He came down and mm -hmm. built it. So just taking my time with it, and then it flow. Well, we're looking forward to your line of clothing. I yeah. Know. I, I like to shop. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, as, as many of us do. We'll be right back after this message. You want to find out what's going on in your community? El Observador is San Jose's bilingual weekly newspaper. Go to your local newsstand and pick up your free copy today. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Michael Newmoon, my co-host, and I'm Siwa Pili Rose Amador. And I'd like to introduce to you our next guest, 
and that is Manuel Ortega. Welcome, Manuel. Thank you. Thank can, you for Can you tell us me. about your tribal affiliation? I'm Western Apache. My uh, family comes from um, Arizona. Oh, okay. Um, my father and them, they come from Mexico and New Mexico, right down the border. Have you always lived in San Jose area? All my life. All your life, yes. huh? So mm -hmm. you've been involved in the community for some time. Can you tell us a little bit about your involvement? Well, my involvement with the community um, is going on uh, about three years now. Um, and how I got involved with the community was through the drum. Um, believe it or not, the drum beat, I kept hearing it, and so I followed it. And what I followed to was a community of uh, Native people that uh, I needed help from. And in return, I would give them help too by uh, securing them, by making sure that uh, what they did and how they did it, um, they did it with a smile, knowing that I could provide that service for them. You know, by uh, making sure that uh, no outside interference or no alcohol, no drugs, or no violence at all whatsoever. Everywhere I go, I see you, and that's a good thing. But it's, it's more than just uh, the Santa Clara intertribal community. You also help out with with Moxa too, and and the Mexica. Yes, Moxa is a, um, a young men's intervention program. It's um, it helps them. I help. I mentor the young men by uh, gang prevention, alcohol prevention, drug prevention, as well as um, everyday living life on um, the do's and the don'ts. Um, I also do security for the Mexica people, mm -hmm. um, and that's uh, every Wednesday. So you know, it's good. That okay, so that's every Wednesday they have the dance classes, yes. right? Where's that held? That's held on Story Road at the uh, uh, University. Park, huh? uh, no, at oh, University. I'm sorry. Is it Story? Yeah, Story Road. Story the and National White. National Hispanic University. The National Hispanic University. Oh, okay. Every Wednesday, while well, they do their dancing, I secure them. You oh, know, good. That they do that. Uh -huh. Do you help out also with the Mexica New Year's? Yes. From, well, now that they called me um, and I asked them, um, I'll be doing uh, most of their security for the, most of their events, like um, Alcatraz, the New Year's, um, the one on Story and King Road, um, and uh, the one in Watsonville mm -hmm. that they're going to be having. So, right. And um, it's going to be very good, you know. Um, Actually, that is what I do. You know, that is what the creator, in my language, it's Unsan. You know, it's a creator of mm -hmm. Apache. Um, he's uh, given me the ability to uh, to do for the people. And, and the payment is, isn't financially. The payment that I get in return is the smiles and the spirits that come from them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my payment. You know, so, you know, um, there's not a day that goes by where I don't want to get up and secure my people, you know all the indigenous people on Turtle uh -huh. Island, so oh, that's know, wonderful. that is what I do you know, today. <laughs> now, at, at uh, MOXA, which is a Mexican-American Community Service Agency, um, they have a lot of youth programs that I'm aware of, and this, this young boys or men's program, it's father's program, is that what it is, young fathers? Or? Well, it's a MIP program, and then they got a, another younger program, which is for females and males, and then they got a um, men's program, which is for parolees. Okay. You know, Mario Zuna, um, Ademis, and uh, Robert Castro, they all participated in it. I'm just a volunteer, uh -huh. I go with volunteer. But they did, ha they had know. a drumming class over there for a oh, while, yes. singing class uh -huh. and so forth. Do they mm -hmm. still have that? Well, no, not really, but it's whoever wants to go and participate, they can go and, you know, mm -hmm. beat on the drum, you know, mm -hmm. sing and let their voice be heard. Stuff like that. And the health center does that too, I, I, I understand, right? They every, teach um, singing and drumming. Yeah, and every Tuesday. Uh, I drum with Mike here. Uh, Tuesdays, you know, and we sing, you know. Well, tell us a little bit about that one of you as far as where people couldn't go, Native people, if they want to learn how to dance, either urban, they've never danced. Yeah, if you want to see me or Manuel <laughs> 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 or, you know, sit around the drum, it's on, it's on Tuesdays. We have that class on Tuesday nights. It's on 14th and Santa Clara, right across the street. The mm -hmm. address is 25 North 14th Street. Okay. Um, suite 120, I believe. So it's on the bottom level, street mm -hmm. level. And like, you know, say there's some native people that want to, their kids to learn to dance, they can come out there and. Oh, sure. I mean, teach um, if you could walk, you could dance. You could dance. Um, um, and it's, uh, it has no age limit, you mm -hmm. know. So all are welcome, you know. 
not only indigenous people, but all, you know, mm -hmm. people that want to participate in it are welcome. You know, yeah. so oh, that's great. Just, it's just good to uh, everybody come together and participate, uh -huh. you know. Just this past weekend, I was at a powwow, and you know, one of the, one of the elder gore dancers, he couldn't stand anymore, and he sat down, but he's still out, he was still out there, you know, holding his rattle and doing his prayers, and it, it's, it doesn't matter, you know, what age, because, you know, the, jam, the drumming, the singing, you know, the dancing, it's just all about the, the prayer, giving that out to the people, man, and you do that a lot, so I thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah, Manuel helps out a lot. So. Brings a so. lot of energy. Grandma Sue's out there dancing. Oh, yeah, she's tearing, she She's going to be coming on the show next month, I believe. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you know, any age, as it, long as you can move. The singing and drumming yeah. connects you. It, may, it mm -hmm. brings you um, closer to the Creator, you know, and it helps, it helps me really um, find who I am today, you know. And today uh, I'm a Native warrior for the people. You know, um, and the people themselves give me the inspiration to do what I do. And um, it's just uh, sad that I can't, you know, go to all the powwows that I wish I could, but, you know, but it, it's good that uh, people uh, Do you also do attending. security, like for Stanford powwow? Oh, yes. Some of those? Uh, I've been doing that for now two years. Because I know they always need a lot um, of volunteers out there yeah. as well. Well, Leon Chief folks, so, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, I've been doing that too. Oh, so, good. So you do you stay know. busy then because there's always something uh, going Evergreen, on. you know, basically at every power in the Valley, Santa Clara County, mm -hmm. I'm there doing security. Good. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing that. Yeah. It's a very important role in our community. Mm -hmm. And so how, how long have you been singing? Do you sing? Um, I've been learning to sing from uh, Michael Andrew for about uh, a year now. A year now. Wow. You know, I have... Um, my own hand drum, but I'm learning that in secret, like, it, you know, in the room by myself. <laughs> so, you know. But um, I also do tend to the fire, a lot okay. of fire tending to the sweat lodges, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, that brings me closer to the Creator, so. I want to go back to what you said about the drum, the connection, bringing it together. It's true, I remember back in the day, um, well, no, back in the day, when I came over here and started, started going to the powwows, uh, you know, I, I remember I went to my first powwow, and I saw the dancers dancing, but I, I didn't know what they were dancing to, you know? I was like, what are they dancing to? I, I didn't hear the drum. I, I literally, it was deaf to me. Like, I didn't, really? I didn't, I didn't hear anything. Uh. I finally heard it at the drum, drum class with the Michael Andrews Ballinger, and that's, you know, now it's like, it, it's the connection now. There, uh. There's no turning away from it. Well, I don't think they had that drum class that all that long, probably for about a year. Cause they, Perhaps. And the, yeah, because they used to have the dance classes, but as far as the drum classes having a regular class, I don't think it's been probably more than a year or so. So that, it's, it, that just shows the impact it has had oh. on the community by having it and how important it is. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The, the drum is very right. important. You know, yeah. Sometimes you go sit there and drum, be, beating the drum, and um. You don't even hear the words, but you hear the beat of the drum, you know, and then sometimes you hear the word and the drum beat, you know, that's what's so beautiful about it, you know. And, Plus, and the, the words are normally in different languages, right? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, Michael's mm -hmm. a Ojibwe and he's Navajo and, yeah, he, he knows a lot of He's songs. teaching us a lot of powwow Northern songs, Southern. you know. Then there's a lot of ceremony songs mm -hmm. that are in the sweat lodge that, you know, that uh, Mike Duran teaches and Pablito and, you know, mm -hmm. um, Brian Fiddler. Right. You know, all them, you know, they know a lot of ceremony songs too. And they're very nice. That's great. So. And then you'll learn those and pass them on to the kids. Oh, yeah. We'll keep in touch with you and find out what's going on in the community. And don't forget, the show time has changed. It's on Saturdays at 4, so make sure you set your alarm. It's, that's what I do. I set the alarm on my cell phone and it starts ringing. It's like, why is my phone ringing? Oh, that's right, the show. The runner, they're turning <laughs> on. So you have to do the same thing. It's Saturday at 4 o'clock and then every Monday at 8 o'clock on the Larasa Roundtable show. So don't forget. And <laughs> don't forget <laughs> that I'll be on the show. <laughs> Wait, what'd don't you say again? I already forgot it. No, just okay, kidding. thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. All right, this and next then. song here, when... Um, when uh, Europeans first came to this, uh, this country here, they, uh, they wanted to own the land. And to Native people, that was a very foreign concept. And um, so we said, yeah, sure, go ahead, own the land. <laughs> um, 
and uh, we uh, still um, have that value as, as Native people that you can't own the land any more than you can own the sky. And this, there's a song, there's a line in the song that says, um, "We need to find each other in the darkness with nothing left to defend." And that's what it means: is when we, when we don't own the land anymore and we belong to it, then we have nothing left to defend and we have nothing left to fight about. This song's called Motherland. It don't matter nothing Red, white, brown, black or blue Put your heart up on the table I put my arms around you It don't mean a thing You're as poor as poor can be Take our armor off together Cause I was blind but now I see Cause in the end it's just a superficial thing It's so hard to begin yeah. Until we find each other in the darkness With nothing left to defend Nothing left to defend I can't tell you nothing That you don't already know Until you're watching children dying Killed by bombs that you paid for place we need to find place to teach us to deny what no matter color creed or country we're all human beings if we try cause in the end there is no line drawn in the sand Take away the flags and there's only one true motherland yeah. We've got to find each other in the darkness With nothing left to defend Yeah, yeah, yeah We've got to find each other in the darkness With nothing left to defend Nothing left to defend It's called Indigenous Soul. Indigenous Soul, Indigenous Soul. Indigenous Soul, Indigenous Soul. Indigenous Soul, Indigenous Soul. Indigenous Soul. Hundred years we were made to fear for our indigenous soul, our indigenous soul. The turtle continent was never meant to be bought and sold. And still nobody understands it when an invisible man could control our lives and control our minds. Without a conscience, there is no guilt and it tears at the fibers of our people's quilt. Indigenous soul, indigenous soul. We're alive because we survived our indigenous ways. Indigenous ways are in the hearts of our children's eyes. Indigenous soul, indigenous soul. We're alive because we survived our indigenous ways. Indigenous ways are in the hearts of our children's eyes. Indigenous soul. Indigenous soul. Indigenous soul. 
indigenous song. Hey, now, hey, now, hey. Indigenous song. Five centuries ago, Columbus and the Minnow, a three hour tour, three hour tour. They landed on our tip and stuck a flag in the dirt of our indigenous corn. They claimed to ask the Spain, and then the English did again, and that was all she wrote. That was all she wrote. Now the system that they built's tearing out their own quilt. Cause the system has us all in the same boat. Indigenous soul, indigenous soul. We're alive because we survived out indigenous ways. Indigenous ways are in the hearts of our children's eyes. Indigenous soul, indigenous soul. We're alive because we survived out indigenous ways. Indigenous ways are in the hearts of our children's eyes. Head on, head on, head on, head. Indigenous soul. Head on, head on, head. Indigenous soul. Indigenous soul. Head on, head on, head on, head. Indigenous soul. Head on, head on, head. Indigenous soul. Indigenous soul. Indigenous soul. Indigenous soul, indigenous soul. Indigenous soul, indigenous soul. Indigenous soul, indigenous soul. And don't forget, the show time has changed. It's on Saturdays at four, so make sure you set your alarm. It's, that's what I do. I set the alarm on my cell phone and it starts ringing. It's like, why is my phone ringing? Oh, that's right, the show. The runner, they're turning on. So you have to do the same thing. It's Saturday at 4 o'clock and then every Monday at 8 o'clock on the Lassa Roundtable show. So don't forget. And don't forget. <laughs> no, I'll be on the show. <laughs> Wait, what did you say again? I already forgot it. No. Just okay, kidding. thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. And then Steve will find something to put at the end here. <laughs> Good night. Right, Steve? Good night, Steve. I, I can't do it. And I'm like, no, man. No? <laughs> rolling tape right now. It's a five. Ready? Good evening. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm a row. Am I supposed to be looking over here or over no, there? At him. Oh, because I was looking over there. Okay, sorry. Can we do it again? <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, I'll see you at the end of the row. Yeah, I know. Okay, anytime. Three, two. I'm Siwa Pili Rose Amador. And I'm Mike Numu. And if you want to learn more about Native people, tune in on Saturdays at 4 o'clock, Native Voice TV. And Mondays at 8.